Hello and welcome to the Storm Magic How To video series. Here at Storm Magic, we're producing some training videos for our customers and partners to show how to do certain things in the setup and configuration and general operations of our software products. Those software products being SVSAN, our virtual SAN solution, SVKMS, our key management server for encryption workflows, and ArcVault, our video management surveillance solution. My name is Steve Betterson. I'm a technical pre-sales engineer here at Store Magic. And the video that I'm going to be doing today is, is a follow on from one that I've previously done, whereby we've upgraded the Store Magic plugin. So we're talking about SVSAN in VMware. We've upgraded the plugin on vCenter from 6.2 update 5 P2 to P3. Uh, and at the same time, I was able to because my witness was the vCenter itself as well. I was able to, to, to kill two birds with one stone, if you like, and upgrade the witness at the same time. So we've got our vCenter up to the latest version. We have our witness up to the latest version. What we're gonna do now is show you how to upgrade the virtual storage appliances. Now, this can be done in a number of ways, four different ways actually. We are today going to be looking at how to upgrade the Stormagic VSAs via the dashboard um, within the plugin itself. Um, but we can also update the, the VSAs via the web GUIs, uh, via the management console, and we can even do it um, using PowerShell scripts. These will all be covered off in a separate video. So as I've mentioned, we're looking at SVSAN on VMware. We've got a demo lab that we're going to perform this update on, and we're going to upgrade the VSAs from 6.2 update 5p2 to 6.2 update 5p3, and then we'll review that afterwards. So let's jump out of the, the slides and just have a quick review of what we've got. Uh, you've seen this before in previous videos. I've got my two node cluster vCenter here. Um, I've got two ESXi hosts, both my virtual storage appliances are deployed. Um, I've got a test VM here, which is sat on some storage managed by these two VSAs. You can see here the plugins there. And in the previous video, we have upgraded the plugin. So we're now on 6253157, which is the 62 update 5 P3 patch. Now, if I go to one of the VSAs here, I go to manage VSAs, I can get to the VSAs here. I've already got uh, VSA one up there. Let's get VSA two up here. So we could just click on that management URL, log in. Sign in here. So we're into VSA two. And you can see there the version um, that we have is 6.2 update 5p2. So that's what we're going to be changing. And then we're going to be doing this via the dashboard. And it's the same on, on this VSA as well, VSA1. So if we come back to vCenter, if I come up to the top level here, uh, we have this Store Magic dashboard. And from here, we can um, look at everything that's in the environment. But to the right of this here, we've, we've got this upgrade feature. We can upgrade, if we had lots and lots of clusters, we can upgrade our VSAs. We can do it as a scheduled task. We simply need to upload the image, the upgrade image uh, of 6.2 update 5 P3 into here, and then we can upgrade our VSAs. We can all also run a separate task to upgrade the witness. Now the witness for my targets that I have here happens to be my vCenter and this has already been upgraded in the previous video as I've already mentioned. So what we're going to do um, is we're going to upload an image. Um, now I have this image here just to show you. So Stormagic SVSAN upgrade 6.2 update 5p3 now just going to move that back onto the other screen because i need to upload the image and i can simply just drag that image to here 
and it will upload. So this is going to take a few seconds, maybe a minute to, to, to get that upload done. So we'll just wait for that as that goes through. So what we've done is we've gone into the dashboard, we've selected upgrade firmware, we've clicked on the upload image and we're just uploading that image now. We dragged that file in. And then once that's gone through, we can then upgrade the VSAs. Now you can see on the left hand side, I've got more than one cluster. I've got two different labs here. So this will actually pick up this VSA and other VSAs on in this uh, vCenter, but we are just going to concentrate on upgrading VSA01 and VSA02, these two virtual machines here. Assuming that's completed, so we can do upgrade VSAs here. We can click next. It's giving you a warning, please upgrade your witness before you upgrade the VSAs. I know I've already done this because my witness is the vCenter and I've already done that upgrade. So we'll click next here. And I'm only interested in the demo nest cluster. It's highlighting everything from the PSNS cluster as well, but I'm not interested in that. So I'm gonna give this an upgrade name. So we'll just call this Demo Nest. Good help, great. And we'll click next. Say no upgrade image detected. Now maybe that's because I didn't let it complete or it hasn't completed yet. So cancel out that, that's my fault. But let's do this again. Upload image, just drag that file in and actually wait for it to complete before I move on to a different screen. Okay, upload successful. Let's click close and there it is. So apologies, I jumped onto another screen and it obviously affected the uploading of that image. So now we have that in place, we can go and do upgrade VSAs again. Put a name in, demo VSA. next and then we get the option to select the available firmware um, we've only got one as we've just uploaded it so we're going to click next now we get the option here we could schedule the upgrade this is particularly useful if you've got uh, you're managing hundreds or maybe a thou thousands of clusters here you don't want to be doing everything at the same time so you you can you can schedule those upgrades we're, we're going to just for the purposes of this demo, we're going to click next because we want this to run immediately. And it gives you a summary. When you click finish, the upgrade task will be queued. You can view progress in recent tasks. And there's also reporting that we can look at as well. So click finish. So it's doing that cluster upgrade scheduled date and time we're running it immediately um, and then it's going to produce a report it's running so what's what is it actually doing it's going to do a, a few a number of health checks first so it's going to make sure that the targets are all fully synchronized between the two virtual storage appliances and then it will um, do the first VSA so it'll probably do VSA 1 first 
it'll do that upgrade, it'll reboot it, and then it'll do a resynchronization process to make sure that the targets are fully synchronized again before it commits to doing the second VSA. So that's high level the process in which it follows. You can see there total VSAs to do. Um, it's running the first one, there's one pending, and it'll eventually you know, come up hopefully with a successful status at the end. So we'll just let that run. And as you can see at the end, you can, you can get an upgrade report. We'll have a look at that once it's finished. Let's show you what that's doing. And we can see now that VSA one is back up. VSA two has a warning status. So that's probably in the process as well. just leave it on that upgrade port so we can see what's going on. So just to recap that procedure, from the dashboard we selected upgrade, then the firmware upgraded our VSAs, but prior to that we uploaded the image, the upgrade image, 6.2 update 5 P3. We then created a, a job name for the upgrade task, we selected our VSAs from the demo nest cluster. Now we could have had, you know, as I say, multiple clusters there. We could have selected a, a number of, of clusters that we wanted to do. We could have then had the option to do a scheduled task or schedule upgrade um, and selected a time and a date for that. But we ran that immediately, clicked finished, and you know we're waiting for this to to complete and do the upgrade process and then we can you know view the status and we have reports as well that we can look at uh, still working away right so we've we're making a little bit of progress we've got one successful vsa done uh, there's nothing pending now so it's just running and, and completing the second VSA. So let's wait a little bit longer. In fact, let's just see if we can get into VSA, VSA 01, refresh that, see if it's done that, completed that one. And there you can see VSA 1 has been completed. We now have version 6.2 update 5 P3. That was previously 6.2 update 5 P2. So VSA 1 has been completed successfully. Let's just go back and see if this is refreshed. Let's see if I can get into um, VSA 2. It's still, uh, okay. Yeah, VS, VSA uh, 2 is completed as well. Um, you can see there, 6.2 update 5 P3. Uh, so that's successfully upgraded. I think we're just waiting for dashboard in vCenter to update. Probably just carrying out some final checks on that, that upgrade. You can see in there our targets all fully synchronized, so that looks healthy. I think this is just taking a little while to, to update on the on the dashboard, but you know we've clearly seen that the uh, there we go, it's complete. So can see there total VSAs two pending none running none failed none successful two uh, which is what we want to see and then we can produce this this export report um, it's just giving you some details there completed the upgrade firmware it's done two up upgrades success 100% complete dates and times 
if you want to export that as a CSV record report, you can do um, your auditing and, and, and so forth. So there we go. That's effectively how we upgrade our VSAs from the, the StoreMagic plugin and, and more, more importantly, the dashboard. I hope that's been useful. Look forward to seeing you again. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching.